Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another batch cooking weekly meal prep video. These videos are meant to make your life super simple y'all and I'm telling y'all when I meal prep, the week is stress free. I don't have to worry about anything. I know breakfast, lunch, and even components of dinner are ready to go and I don't have to worry about a single thing. If you are a working mom, dad, or if you're a stay at home mom and you want extra time with your family, this is the way to go. In this video, I also have tips and tricks and you don't have to be keto to do them. So this is just meal prep inspiration overall. I just happen to live a ketogenic lifestyle. So if you like some of these recipes, you can include it in your keto or low carb journey, or you can use some of these in your regular diet that you have already. So the things that we're gonna be making this week are going to be some freezer prep. So I'm gonna show you how I freezer prep some things that I find on sale at the grocery store. Boiled eggs, we're gonna be peeling some fresh caught shrimp, wash and dicing some strawberries, of course, keto queso, sausage and chicken tender, so protein bowls, shredding some cheese for the week, I'm gonna be making egg roll in a bowl, garlic cheddar drop biscuits, blueberry muffins, and lemon pound cake. Let's get to it. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> So we're starting off with some freezer prep. I find the best deals on meat at my local grocery stores like Winn-Dixie and Rouse's, way better than Costco, Sam's, or Walmart. So definitely check your local grocery stores when they have meat sales, y'all, and stock up and freeze it, put it away. So I got this little scale at Walmart and it has been awesome. I think it was $10, it was great price. And I'm actually weighing out a pound for each of my ground meat. I think this is a total of maybe five pounds, but I wanted to make sure it was exactly one pound and I am putting my my little dates and my titles on there to know what it is once it goes into the freezer. And then I like to make sure that there's no air left behind in these bags. So I like to flatten my ground meat or any of my meats I like to make as flat as possible just to make sure there's not air in there. And also it makes for room in your freezer. So you don't have all this bulkiness going on. You can have stacks of meat going on and it'd be really efficient. So that's the way that me and my family like to do it. Next, we're moving on to some chicken breasts, and these were a great deal. I actually cut these chicken breasts in half because they're so large. I find with trying to cook large chicken breasts, it just doesn't cook evenly anyway, and this makes a ton of meals for us, so it's very cost efficient to do it this way. So I cut the breast in half, and then what I'll do is I'll put four of those chicken breasts in a freezer bag, and I will label it, put the date on there, and that way I know that that bag itself is a meal for us. I also made one with just diced chicken for any type of salad as far as diced chicken and a salad that I wanna do and prep for weeks coming up. So this is really awesome to have all this done and prepped as well and pop it in the freezer. Get your freezers full, y'all. If you have good deals on meats, it's the best way to do it. Y'all know I love to boil eggs for the week. I'm obsessed with boiled eggs in the morning. It is my favorite, and I love using my Instant Pot to do that. So I think I'm going in with 10 eggs this week with one cup of water. I find with the pasture-raised eggs, even two minutes is too long. I think next week I'm gonna try one minute. I know that sounds crazy, but they are overcooked, especially with me leaving them out for a little bit and putting them in the ice bath. It's the way I like to do it, but I don't feel like we need to cook them as long. So as you see here, I am putting them in a bowl with some cool water, and and then I will throw a little bit of ice in there just to cool them off and they peel so easily. If you have never used an Instant Pot or if you have one laying around, at least use it for your boiled eggs if nothing else. So now we're gonna be peeling some shrimp. I live in Southern Louisiana and when a shrimp sale goes on, this girl is all about that life. So I went ahead and picked up, I think it's like two, two and a half pounds of head on shrimp and I'm peeling them so that way throughout the week I don't spend 30 minutes peeling shrimp. It takes me forever to peel shrimp because I'm very meticulous about it. And this is how they look. They are so delicious, y'all. If you can ever pick up fresh versus frozen, do it. The taste is outstanding. 
eat the damn berries. If you've been with me for any amount of time, you know what that means. And when I did my very first prep video, y'all, y'all were blown away by this and I don't know why, but I always use the container the berries come in to wash them in as well. Do not waste any more containers. We got enough dishes to do y'all. We need to save as much time as possible. Wash them in the damn container and let them sit for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and slice them. I'm slicing them into twos. Most of the time I'll do it into fours, but I will make them into little pieces for parfaits as well. And I love these containers from the Dollar Tree, y'all. They have them out right now for back to school. So definitely check your Dollar Tree. They're not dishwasher safe, but they save so much room in your fridge by putting them in these upright towers. I absolutely love these things. Of course, it wouldn't be a prep with me video without the keto queso. If you're going to watch these videos thus going forward, you will see this every single time. I will have it linked down below and in the I cards above, but it's pretty basic. You just need some white American cheese, some green chilies, some cream cheese, and some butter. Throw all that in the crock pot and you are good to go. You can also make this on the stove top. Y'all have asked me that as well. And if you don't have a little crock pot, absolutely, it will work. And it'll actually be a little bit faster. Just make sure you don't let it scorch and make sure that you stir away. So this is what it looks like after the fact. It is so good, y'all, with some pork rinds. Y'all asked me what we used to dip it in. Pork rinds are cucumbers. Trey uses his chips, of course, but if you're doing strict keto, do some pork rinds and some cucumbers. It is delicious. Now we're gonna work on our protein bowl. So these Adele's habanero and pepper jack cheese chicken sausages from Costco, they have zero net carbs. These are delicious, y'all. Okay, so they're really not even spicy in my opinion. They don't have much kick, but they are good. I like this brand a lot, and I'm cooking them in the air fryer for a not even 15 minutes. I was just checking on them, and look how beautiful they look. The air fryer is amazing for all recipes, and I love using it to cook up hot dogs and sausages especially. I'm putting them in a container. I did go back and add them to my egg rolls in a bowl, just FYI, but this is a good container for other things. Now these black pepper herb chicken breasts, I'm going to bash Tyson for a minute. I put this all over my Instagram. There is maltodextrin in these. So I will be returning these to Costco. The blackened ones are safe. If y'all have the blackened ones, use those. But these black and black herb and pepper ones, they are a no-go. So I ate on these all week and they probably didn't mess with my progress, but I didn't even know until after the fact. I thought they were the same as the blackened. I should have known better because I check ingredients like a fiend and I did not just assuming they were the same. However, I will say these were the first time I tried them and I do like the blackened ones better anyway. I did not really enjoy these. I think that you can just buy regular chicken breast and season it yourself and it'd be cheaper in the long run. The blackened ones, however, they are bomb and they're good ingredients. So do that. So I am putting two links in here with a serving of the chicken tenders and then two tablespoons of Alterna Sweets barbecue sauce. I will have them linked down below as well. Best barbecue sauce, low carb keto you're going to find on the market way better than G Hughes. I say that all the time and I mean it delicious. I love these containers I got from Amazon Glasswinds and there is some extra chicken tenders I put on a salad as well. Now we're going to go in with my shredded cheese for the week. We're using sharp cheddar this week and I just shred it, put it in this really cheap container. It's airtight and keep it in the fridge. Y'all asked me last week how long it lasts. This lasts for weeks y'all. I have some mozzarella that I've had in a container for probably four weeks and it is fine. It is not spoiled and it is good. So these airtight containers in the fridge, cheese, shred it up, save time and it lasts forever. Now we're going to be making egg roll in a bowl. This is a Keto Connect recipe. I will have their video and their link down below. I've made this numerous times. I'm making mine with ground turkey. Theirs calls for pork sausage, but you can use meat. You can use whatever you want. I'm using this broccoli slaw. You can see the ingredients there and the macros are good and it's delicious. It had a more crisp texture than regular coleslaw in the bag. So I will definitely continue to buy that one. So we're browning up our ground turkey. I love adding Tony Sacheries. I love a kick to everything. If you've been with me for a while, you know that. I'm gonna go ahead and prep my green onions. This is a topping and it definitely adds. So don't skip this step if you make this recipe. I love having fresh chives or green onions on different recipes. I just think it elevates it, makes you feel like you're in the restaurant. So I never skip steps like that. I'm also putting it in a your fresh container from the Dollar Tree. I'm telling y'all, Dollar Tree's got it going on for airtight containers to keep your stuff good and fresh. 
Going in with some liquid aminos, this is gonna act as our low carb soy sauce because if you check real soy sauce in the store, it is packed with carbs, so definitely check. Then we're gonna go in with some chicken stock here as well. This is some organic ones I have from Walmart. Give it a stir. Going in with some minced garlic, you can add more or less that you want. You don't wanna burn the garlic, so I'm gonna turn the heat on low and add some ground ginger. I love the way that these flavors marry. Going in with some sriracha, I love this one the best because it is low carb and it is not super spicy in my opinion. It just gives it the right amount of flavor. Now we're gonna go in with our broccoli slaw. We're putting the entire bag in here. Look how fresh and beautiful that looks. And let me tell you, again, with the crunch, even with cooking it down a little bit, it wasn't like raw, but it wasn't soggy, if that makes sense. And it lasted crunchy throughout the week in my containers. And I'm portioning it up into fours to get the macros right. It's about four to five net carbs, y'all, for the portions you see me dividing in my glass bowls right here. And I didn't mind that at all because this is so delicious and it's packed with protein. And it's definitely good with all the broccoli slaw we got going on as well. Here's some extras. I put in an extra bowl for me and the hubs to eat over the weekend versus lunches. And in my little containers here, I'm dividing up my green onions, some sesame seeds, definitely add a nice little touch here. And then in my other container, I'm gonna be adding a tablespoon of sesame oil. Don't skip that either. It definitely gives the flavor, makes it taste robust. I love this recipe. I've made it so many times and there's so many different variations to this recipe. I've seen so many people do. So here's all my storage ready to go for lunches. Now we're going in with the Southern Keto Cookbook. I cook with this all the time. We cooked with it last week, and we even made the drop biscuits last week with sausage gravy, but we're making garlic cheddar biscuits today that taste like red lobster. I've made this many times. It is so delicious. I love prepping this, y'all, and keeping these in the fridge and adding them to sides for our weekly meals. It is so easy, and you don't have to do anything but heat it up, and they reheat so well. So the only thing different we're doing here, y'all, is adding some garlic powder, some cheese, and I like to add parsley. It gives it a nice little flavor and color to your biscuit and cook them exactly like you do the regular way. But now we have it all flavored and cheesed up. So I'm portioning it out. I think it makes 10 to 12 biscuits. And I think each one of these is about two net carbs. So I usually just eat one on the side with my meals. And it's such a nice little treat. You feel like you're eating real bread, but you're not. And they taste just like red lobster biscuits, y'all. If you've been missing that in your life, get this cookbook for all kinds of reasons, but this is a great one to have under your recipe belt. I'm telling you, look at these bad boys. Ugh, crispy, delicious, cheesy. You need this in your life ASAP, y'all. Get it. I'm getting them ready to store for the week. So again, same way I stored them last week with the regular biscuits, I'm putting them in this Dollar Tree container. I know you're probably tired of hearing that, but I love that store storage. Now we're going in with our blueberry muffins. This is the first recipe I tried from the Southern Keto Cookbook that made me fall in love with her recipes. I love it so much. I've made this so many times. If you followed my journey since January, y'all know I'm obsessed with this one and I had to bring it again because I haven't had them in forever. What is my life? So we're gonna be mixing up our dry, which is primarily almond flour and also some baking powder and then some salt. And by the way, the boys tried them the first time this week and absolutely loved them. So this is a great option for your kids. That's easy to take on the go to school. Then we're going in with our pure granular here and give it a nice whisk. I highly recommend, recommend for you to use a sifter. Our wet is going to be eggs and sour cream. Definitely makes it so moist. And also putting some vanilla extract in here to marry all the flavors. Put it in with your dry. Give it a good stir. We don't want any dry left behind. And then we're going to be adding our blueberry muffins. I use frozen. I have so many frozen on hand so they don't spoil. And it works just the same as fresh. So if you've got frozen, bust them out. You have to have silicone liners, guys, for baking with keto. And I got these off of Amazon since January. They have been amazing. They'll be linked down below. I'm going to be putting two tablespoons in each liner, and that makes 12 uh, blueberries. I was going to blueberry muffins, not cupcakes. I was going to say cupcakes. Works out perfectly every time as far as portioning. 
Bake them in the oven. I always do the lowest setting as far as what's recommended in a cookbook because it's always gonna cook after the fact when you put it on the counter. Just a little tip there with baking. And look how beautiful these look, guys. And they were delicious. And like I said, the boys love them too. So we will be making them even more often now, now that I know that the kids love them. Staple around here, easy, simple ingredients, and delicious. Just what you want for keto. Store on the counter for three to four days, nice and covered, or in the fridge to make sure you don't lose any of those delicious ones. Now we're gonna get into my famous recipe, one of my famous recipes on YouTube, which is my lemon pound cake that went crazy on Instagram. Y'all, this is a staple, we love this one. You can change it up if you don't like lemon. The pound cake itself is just delicious. And let me tell you, I made a mistake this time while doing all this videoing for y'all, but it was a mistake in my favor. So look at this cream cheese, y'all see that? that that is a whole stick. I was only supposed to put half of the cream cheese in there, but I had mom brain and we put the whole thing. And let me tell you, it came out so freaking good. So much better than my original recipe. So moist and fluffy. And a couple of y'all have already messaged me telling me that you made it the wrong way from when I mentioned it on my vlog and y'all are loving it. So I'm so glad that we found a mistake that made something better. So I always like to line my loaf pan in some parchment paper. That way I can just take it out and it's easy for cleanup too because remember we're not about that cleaning up life around here and like I said that parchment paper comes off easily so no big deal I will have this recipe linked down below in the i cards above but there you go and look there's hardly any browning at the top it is so moist and fluffy looking and I'm telling you that extra four ounces of cream cheese made a difference it will definitely up our carb count a little bit but it is so so worth it now I'm making my icing so you need cream cheese you need some powdered erythritol you're gonna need some lemon extract and I love using lemon zest. I definitely think it brings out the flavor of the icing or you can leave it out if you don't want it. And then I like to go ahead and cut it up after I have it go into the fridge for a little bit. Let it sit in the fridge. It will be good to cut after that. Don't cut it before. I'm going to store mine in the fridge. You don't want to leave it out. Always store it in the fridge guys. So here is our prep for the week y'all. We got it done. We did it. This day did take me a little while, but I have mom time going on. So I have clothes to do, y'all. I've got kids under my feet. What you don't see behind the scenes is that I have two little boys under my feet the entire time I'm doing this. I'm constantly having to stop. I'm constantly having to make snacks, lunches, do things in between. And that's what I utilize my Sunday for. We are spending time in the kitchen together. Trey loves watching me cook, and I love them being in there with me. We get to spend time. I play a playlist of music. We dance in the kitchen, things that y'all don't see, and we just enjoy the day. So even though it does take some time, it's moments that I'm going to cherish family and that I actually love to do. So I highly recommend prepping y'all to spend time with your family, be in the moment, cook together, give them some things to do. And then throughout the week, you can spend even more time with your family because you're not hovering over a kitchen or trying to do things for the week. Highly, highly recommend it. Y'all give this video a huge thumbs up, y'all. If you are enjoying this meal prep series from me, every single Sunday here on my channel, you will see a new meal prep. So I hope you're enjoying them. If you are, definitely hit that like button and definitely share this with a friend if they are needing inspiration with prepping in general or if they need inspiration with keto recipes, give it a share with them and help somebody out. Help somebody out there. That's the message around here. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. We'd love to have you part of the family here to help you figure out how to prep, help you figure out recipes, anything that I can help you guys with, I am here for, and that's why I want y'all with me. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an amazing Sunday. Get your prep on, y'all. Get that batch cooking on and make your life easy. We'll see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.